Sensory's truly hands-free 3.0 technology trigger to search user-defined triggers with user-defined passphrase and speaker identification and our ultra low power the following videos will show these new technologies this is sensory's truly hands-free trigger combined with internet search we're running our trigger on this android phone and then using a cloud-based recognizer by combining these two together we make the most user-friendly and natural interface possible particularly in the car environment watch this Hello, Blue Genie. What's the temperature outside? It's 49 degrees in Portland right now. That's outstanding. If I wanted to navigate somewhere, rather than picking up the phone and touching it, I just talk to it. Hello, Blue Genie. Navigate to the Home Depot in Tigard, Oregon. Navigating. And now I'm navigating to that destination. This is Sensory's truly hands-free trigger combined with internet search. This is Sensory's user-defined trigger as part of our Truly Hands-Free 3.0 release. I've defined the trigger to whatever I want to call it, in this case, Android Phone. When I say that, that phrase, the phone responds, Android Phone. I can even do it with music playing in the background. And the music's up at a pretty loud volume, Android Phone. You can see that even with the music playing, it'll respond to my trigger, Android Phone. This is Sensory's truly hands-free 3.0 release of our user-defined trigger. This is Sensory's user-defined trigger combined with speaker verification and identification. Three of us have enrolled in this device, myself as user 1, Paul as user 2, and Sam as user 3. Jeff's Android. Open Sesame. Jeff's Android. You'll notice that Sam and I use the exact same trigger and it identifies us correctly as user 1 and 3. If I say Paul's trigger phrase, it will recognize the trigger but reject me as the incorrect user. Open Sesame. However, when I say my passphrase, it will work. Jeff's Android.